Привет, товарищи! Welcome to Random Wilderness Outside. Today we have two dilemmas. The first one is getting cold and the second one is getting dark. So what we need to do is to find shelter. And the other thing is that we have limited supplies on hand, meaning we have no tent. And I'm going to show you two different ways how you can get some decent sleep. The first method is to use a sleeping bag and the second method is to use a wool blanket and a tarp. Let me show you in detail about those options. Just a quick in-depth look at this army sleeping bag. The first thing, it's called a four-piece sleeping system. And the reason why they call it a four-piece sleeping system is the outside pack that you put the sleeping bag into is called a compression sack, which means you put the sleeping bag into it and then there, you can tighten the buckles and it will be literally half of this by the time it's all nice and compressed. The secondary piece is this Gore-Tex bivy cover. Now this bivy cover is waterproof and windproof. I have it unzipped to show you. And this is actually, it says Gore-Tex on the lining here. Now normally all this would be buckled together, but I have unzipped it and unbuckled it so you guys can see the different layers. The second layer, this is a green bag. This is actually a patrol bag, summer bag. And this black bag is the intermediate cold weather bag. So what's really nice about this system is the fact that you can, it's modular. You can upgrade it or downgrade it to whatever uh, requirements you need. So, you know, if you need a really cold winter bag and you know you're going to be frozen, you have all the components and you're going to be fine because this bag all combined will go to negative 10 Fahrenheit. Or if you need it for summertime, you can take the black bag out of it and just have, you know, the green bag and the bivy cover. Or if it's really, really tropical, you can actually just have just the bivy cover and nothing else. Now this particular sleeping bag I purchased for $60, but you can buy a newer one or even a more beat up one, you know, for less or more just depending on cost and where it is. Uh, overall, I would recommend something like this. Army surplus is the way to go because army surplus stuff is built solidly and it's built to last. Okay, so here we are at the cliff overhang and it meets our main requirements which are it has adequate rain cover and it's going to shield us from the rain and elements keywords the second thing that it provides it's an effective windbreak uh, which helps with the fact that the wind will not rob the body heat from us uh, as we're here trying to get some sleep so the first thing is a military style sleeping bag So as we lay this out, we're going to make sure that there's no pointy rocks or anything that can rob us of our precious sweep. And we're going to make sure that the head of the sweeping bag is somewhat at an upwards angle. So that way all the blood will not rush to our faces if we're lying slightly uneven. With all that being said, I also understand that some people are on a budget. So just in case you don't have a fancy sweeping bag, you can always use a tarp like this. I'm using this is actually a space blanket. And so let's say you don't have a fancy sleeping bag or a sleeping bag at all. What do you do? No worries. All you actually really need is a wool blanket and a tarp. This is what a typical army surplus wool blanket looks like. They come in various sizes, but they're really inexpensive and they get the job done. And this is what a wool blanket and a tarp combination looks like. Very simple, very effective lightweight and doesn't take up that much space on your pack. You can actually pack the tarp on the outside of your pack so it doesn't even take the internal volume of your pack up. So basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is you don't need to be fancy to survive in the wilderness. Of course you know having a bigger budget always helps but you can either go basic such as a tarp and a wool blanket or you know you can upgrade your army surplus bag or you can have a top of the line you know, state-of-the-art sleeping bag, you know, that's, you know, Arctic conditions approved, whatever, whatever. Depends on what you have. If you have the correct mindset that you want to survive outside, you can take any kind of equipment, any kind of supplies such as this, and you can go out there and you can survive. And as always, I hope you guys go ahead and like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.